Yeah, right, YouTube, it's Dplay. Um, today I'm going to be doing my first tutorial on how to get 3D text like this, which um, hasn't got a background, onto um, a video on Sony Vegas. Uh, the video is going to be a FIFA clip, which obviously wasn't by me, that's why it says Nosy. Nosy who scored it last night, it's a pretty jammy goal. But um, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like after it's rendered out. Um, to save time, I've already done the 3D text, but to save the 3D text, you want to go to render setting, um, save, and then you, this is vital, it won't work if you, you have to press, you have to tick alpha channel. Um, in my opinion, I'd save it as a P PNG because it's the best quality. Uh, so yeah, after that, I've already saved it, but I'll, say, I'll resave it on my desktop called Nosy. So now, after you've done that, you click the cross, you don't need that, and then um, render to picture viewer, and it'll just come up because I've already saved it, but yeah, I'll overwrite it. Um, so now, after I've done that, I'll go to Sony Vegas. Um, to get it in, Sony Vegas, what you need to do is press open, and it'll be there. So yeah, that's what happens. You just need to delete it from the track because you don't need it yet. Um, usually when you drag a clip in Sony Vegas you put it there but to make this work you need to drag it down to the track below it so I'll drag it to that one the reason why is because you need to put this text above like that so now as you can see <coughs> on the video on Sony Vegas um, the text without a background is on the clip and just to show it's like not fake I'll play the clip as well But as you can see, it goes off. So now, if you want it to stay on through the whole duration of the clip, <coughs> what you need to do is, you need to drag the picture on the track all the way across to when the video below stops as well. So now, what you'll see is this. It will stay on for the whole duration of the video. Just wait a bit, maybe a bit patient, it's a bit... Shitty, so anyway, so. But as you can see, you can't really see the clip properly, can you? If you see a loop, you can't really see that goal. So now, if you want to move it on the screen, you have to click Event Pan or Crop. So you click that, and then it comes up with this F in the middle of the screen. Basically, what you can do is now you can move it across and then you can like play about with the size stuff like that so I'm gonna make it small put it in the bottom right corner so make it a bit smaller than that actually about there right so now we'll replay it and now it just stays in the bottom corner while your clip is playing so yeah I hope this tutorial has been useful please like and subscribe Cheers guys.